Greetings mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun, and for the first time in a year, maybe a year and a half, I am collaborating with Coco. Hell yeah! <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Imperator. Indeed. We are fighting against Rome and everyone else. Pretty much everybody in the world. So, who are you playing as? I am the Messenia Empire, which is. Three I don't think you could call it empire. <laughs> it's an em it's a future empire. It's three little um, provinces. It will be an empire one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Bosporian kingdom. I thought they they have a nice color, so you know, that's that's yeah. all I need. That is all he has I like need. Maybe fifteen states more than me. You're quite big. <laughs> I am quite big, but. Unluckily, there's a lot of places over here that has one person in them, and that's about it. That's that's all about it. So, before we on pause, we're gonna take some time to actually go through our countries, right? Yes, because I'm new to the game, and we do need to figure out what the hell we're doing, because we haven't played kingdoms before now. Exactly. So, uh, if you press F1, you have F1. the three three ideas to pick. Those are important to match the military and whatever ideas you have. And then you get the bonus that says on the right. You'll get bonus points every month and such like that. The game doesn't tell you to do that, right? It's just like, yeah, do whatever. No, it does not. I accidentally figured it out during my test an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Also, hey. another thing that is, to me, very important. If you press F9 to open the trade thing, right? Yeah. On the top right corner, it allows you to trade away your capital surplus. Yes. That is not good. You do want the surplus in your capital because it's going to give you bonuses. Got you. I now know something new. Yeah, I, I don't know why the game allows that to be on by default, but it's, it's how it is. It's uh, fortunate. Huh. So, I have a bunch of tribes people in my small cities, which is far from good. Because as we are Hellenic people, I think. Uh, um, I am as well, I feel. Yeah, th these guys uh, don't really work well for us. We're not a tribe, right? You're a republic, correct? I am an oligarchic republic, yes. There you go. So, you don't really need tribes people. They're not that amazing for you. Uh, that sounds suspicious to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't you don't really expect tribes people to be walking through Athens or something like that, right? No, uh, yes. That's that's uh, all I'm trying to say. Slave output. I'm gonna go for some commerce income. That sounds like a good idea. Commerce is good. I'm just picking my thing still. Oh for yeah. Happiness. Oh yeah. Oh, general loyalty, definitely. My generals betrayed me my test. They, they started a civil war. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already started with a disloyal character, so that's a good start. That's, that's always a good start. Yeah. Okay, so what speed should we be going at? Regular or slower? Uh, probably we start with something slower and then see how it works. Is that one good enough for you? Or yes, yeah, sp speed 2 would be probably uh, Excellent. a good Ooh. start. <laughs> Excellent. So, once we get everything sorted, we will of course start. Yeah, but let's get stuff sorted. Sorted first. You know what? I can actually make horse archers. You know what? That's pretty good. They're expensive, but I can make them. Um. They can shoot technology. stuff. Technology. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like stuff that can shoot other stuff. You know. I understand. Okay, so about you were complaining that the general betrayed you, right? Yes. So if your current leader, right, is good at military, you can put him in charge, and uh, then the troops will be loyal to him eventually. So you know your My, mm, leader is not gonna betray you. Betray you. The worst thing he is 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 a uh, military. Oh, He's yeah, terrible yeah. at it. That, he makes, sucks. that makes sense. <laughs> then I would say just don't assign a general until you need a general. Gotcha, okay. We'll stick with you guys as not being generals for now. I need some more troops though. I'm going to start really in reinforcing this armor. Oh, we have yeah. a war to win. We have my two options. Oh well. yeah. <laughs> I I'm also building some uh, horse archers over here. I just started with just normal archers, which is... I don't think it's exactly amazing. 
But I hear these horse archers are pretty good, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some trade routes for uh, my place as well. Okay, well, I've got options of skirmishers and archers. That's my entire army right now. No, yeah, it would be a good idea to try to trade something in then. Yeah, I'm going to have to... <sighs> Alright. Yes, I'm getting some... I could send you maybe some of my step horses down there, but I don't have a surplus right now. Now yeah, that's fine. I can wait. Yeah, uh, I do have a surplus of fish, which is good. I think we might be too far from each other actually to be able to trade with each other, though. So I have olives, fish, and wine, and we have no surplus. Hmm. Yeah. Now. There's something I really like doing when I start this. I uh, toggle the free trade in commerce, which gives me an extra provincial import route. So basically another trade route, right? While yeah. it lowers the whole national commerce income. So when you have more provinces, if you have one province, it's probably not worth it. But if you have more, then that actually adds up. Because you're going to lose like maybe one, one gold per uh, month on uh, lowering the commerce income, right? But then okay. you're gonna get a bunch of new trade routes, which each will give you like one gold just per se. So something like that, it's usually useful. Also, the game is telling that my research sucks. So, what are you currently at? Uh, let me actually see. I'm producing 4.4 research points. I'm doing 2.7. <laughs> is, it, is it telling you that it sucks? Oh no, no, sorry, it's 3.7. Um, it's telling me I'm okay. Oh well, maybe the game thinks I should have more stuff, which I probably... think you should. You're like 15 times my size. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be promoting some of the tribes people away from being tribes people, make them something else. That that sounds like a good idea, right? Um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no tribes people. I only have slaves. How many slaves do you have? Uh, it says three here, uh, two there, I have seven. Okay, so whenever you have 15 slaves, right? Yeah. Uh, you see, each province produces one one thing, like cloth, livestock, whatever, right? Yeah. And each time you have 15 extra slaves, you're going to produce one more of that item. Oh! So you have zero to 14 slaves, you're going to produce one. You have 15, and onwards you're going to produce two. And then, so excellent. Forth. So I may have. Oh yeah, it says so. Just every fifteen, we'll produce an extra fish. There you yeah. go. Okay. I think if you have farmlands, you need like two less. Uh, you need like just like thirteen if you. Use, yes, if thirteen on, on the wine. Yes. There you go. There you go. Okay, I have learned it, and now the war must begin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think first we need to actually get troops. So if you want to, we can now unpause. Excellent. Let's. And We've so it. it begins. Let's see who's gonna lag out first. <laughs> this is gonna. Um, I'm building up my forces already. Yeah, I'm doing that as well. There's a bunch of mercenaries just hanging around in my capital. I'm gonna have to take Leprion and Laconia first. So my first goal of the game is literally conquer my neighbor. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea, actually. I need to. Probably try to be friends with my bigger neighbor. Invite oh the Leprians are inviting me to a defensive league. Yeah, there you go. I'm I want to attack them. Well, th then don't <laughs> don't join them. Yeah, I'm like oh they know. They know, <laughs> yeah. That is that is true. <laughs> They're already like hmm this guy he's building up troops. How about you help us in our wars, and we won't help you in your wars? Well, their numbers have gone down by 2,000. I don't know where. Huh. Foreign claims on Laconia. Oh, yeah, I got Sparta. claimed as well. Uh, I got claimed by the small dude over here. Maybe I should be friendly with Laconia. They can help me fight Sparta. Okay. <laughs> hey, perfect. I, yeah. I got claimed by a, a guy that's only like four cities big right next hmm. to me. They should be afraid of me. Why are you not afraid of me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. 
I think I'm gonna need to start saving my uh, power to actually claim them as well. I spent all of my power. I have power. Is it oratory power? So it's yeah, left. oratory power is to to do that. I've been I promoted a couple of uh, tribesmen to be freemen. Oh, I need two hundred to fabricate a claim. Mm. Yeah, it's it's very expensive. So in general, if uh, if you have like extra uh, religious power, which you probably will have soon, because I do, I have like two hundred I haven't spent so far. Yeah, you probably should get the omen, uh, omen strength, uh, omen something something that you get from that. Uh, but after that, it's probably gonna accumulate pretty fast, and you can do like uh, yeah. worse without Kaz's belly, right? The, the what? Uh, uh, the, the the claim to go to war without a claim. Yes. And uh, it's gonna lower your stability by two, right? But you can yeah. boost the stability for like 150 uh, religious power. So it can be more beneficial than spending the oratory power. Can be. No, oh, great. Okay. I'm Rathica making. Just fall. I'm making uh, 0 0.04 money per month. I have, re I have now researched ability to have cheaper claims. Oh, well. 185 now. Guess who's gonna go to war then? <laughs> I'm friendly. I'm always friendly. <laughs> well, lucky you. I don't think anybody around here wants to be actually my friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, these guys would be. Yeah, the, the smallest guys ever. They would be my friends, of course. I... What have I done? Go away. I don't see where the rest of that... Wait. Declared war upon Leprion. Wait. The Hellenistic state of Heraria has declared war on us. <laughs> Already? <laughs> you want to pause? Wait, who are they? Uh, who attacked you? I, oh, they attacked my allies! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So I'm going to go help out my allies. Um, it's a teeny little city-state above me. Attack oh, the city-state yeah. above me. Oh, <laughs> I see, I see, I see, yeah. Uh, the support is welcome. I have to change the graphics down. I'm getting a little bit of um, stuttering going on. Uh, you know what? I I tried I tried a lot of stuff about changing the graphics. Even, like, I had them fully high and fully low, and it's the same. To me, it, it, it can stutter when there's more armies around and such. I'm th getting stuttering even now, so it's like three or four times. Bit yeah, odd. Uh, I, I've, I've seen people complain about that. Um, it could be because it's um, just released. They're not good at the f first release, are they, really? Nope, never been. Oh, here we go. Oh, my, I'm losing. My army is being wiped out by 5,000 men. Did you, did you put down your, did you lower your morale? I don't know. Come on. Come on! Come on! You're winning! Thousands of men have died, but I'm winning. That's all of us. I won! <laughs> Just! There you go. <laughs> oh, okay. Their troops have retreated to Azania. They've just attacked everybody. They've attacked everyone nearby. <laughs> wow. There's like 10 people supporting uh, a pretender for the for the throne. It's amazing. It's... Why? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, you're fighting two people now. If no, I'm... they blew the Leprion with me. No, you're, you're fighting Azania as well. They joined that oh. war. Oh no, their troops retreated to Azania. Oh yeah, they have, yeah. No buggers. Kept... That, that's something that's been uh, annoying me because it doesn't tell you when someone else has joined the war. Like, I, I've, I've fought wars when I've like, been winning for, I don't know, a month or two and then suddenly two more countries join. It's like, hmm, you could at least tell me about this. Oh, well. I'm pulling in more troops. My allies are pulling in more troops. They're taking their capital of Herea. Well, if if you take their capital, it's just pretty much done. If the AI is going to be smart enough to actually do it. Yeah, I was messing around with the British faction, and I was basically just claiming one place and then like immediately uh, taking peace once I'd taken a couple of places and slowly wiped out their kingdom but mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay more troops are moving in oh they are really pushing up their forces now that is something that AI is gonna do they're just gonna build until they're done with their manpower it's gonna build like 25k troops even though they can't possibly sustain them 
Oh, I can't sustain my current army, but I need it to stop their army. Yeah, yeah. I've seen, uh, I believe it was Thebes that are near you. I think they had like, they had three cities and they had more than 30k troops. Mm. And then they went down to 5k because they couldn't sustain them. <laughs> so, really worth it, spending all that money, all that manpower. Well, I've got to, otherwise I'm going to lose against this force moving in. Dag nabbit, I'm wasting all my money on a bigger armor. <laughs> That's why Come on. I don't trust the alliances. They will no, always I... just pull you in. The they always betray you too. Yeah, exactly. Although, if someone's going to dissolve the alliance with you, I think it's like a 10 year truce timer for that. So, oh. please, there's that. Everybody around here is like, we don't like you, you are different religion. Hmm. I don't want to ally the pretty much the smallest guy over here. That's the only one that, he, that will ally me. I, I don't want your alliance, dude. Like, really. It's uh, terrible. I think we're winning. We've been having it. We've been besieging them now for two hundred days. Wow. Yeah, they're not giving up. Yeah. It's... I've seen uh, <laughs> terrible things like that. I had I was sieging a fort and I was at forty-two percent to win it, and the enemy moved in to a fort I already sieged, and they won it before I did it. So amazing. Even though I was way way ahead, months ahead, to be honest. They... come on, surrender. So far, all that's happened is diseases. <laughs> diseases? <laughs> so you're sieging, uh... Heraya now? Yeah, there's like 17,000 men on it. There's 14,000 enemy next door. Well, you, you are winning your war still. I mean, for now. For now. <laughs> I'm spending my money on the army. I'm actually negative. And that place is farmlands, so they, if they attack you in there, they're not gonna get a bonus. Like if if they were attack you while uh, you were sieging their fort in the hills, they would get a bonus for that, because you would to... be considered as an attacker. Mm -hmm. I might have to recruit more troops. I don't want to, but I might have to. So the guy that uh, claimed my lands now wants to be in defensive league together. Because they no. just got attacked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that explains what it is. This is how he is. Oh, they're moving in. They're moving 15,000 men in. We won the siege, at least. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, but that means it's going to be go to Leprion. I'm going to have to take, fight Leprion next. <laughs> I'm going to pull my troops back. Oh, no, it is actually my colours. I forgot I was a different colour. Open diplomacy. You are Alliance a nice colour as well. Oh, it's peace. What did what did they what did they do? They didn't take anything, did they? Um, Ellis, except. Hmm. Yeah. So, so these guys are fighting each other now, next to me. Amazing. Wait, what did they do? What did you What did you do? <laughs> oh, they my allies sued for peace. Yeah. <laughs> they said no. We don't want to fight anymore. It's done. We were winning. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the AI. They're smart. Very uh, smart. Um, um, my ooh. tribesmen are very unhappy with me. I just got raided by pirates. Oh, that's great. I declare war on these people who said that um, we're losing. Fabricate a claim. I want your place. Thank you. <laughs> you gave up too easily. I'm going to kill you. You don't want allies like that, right? Who would? Like, I know. I know. I only have 48 manpower left. That's because they're pulling in everything to rearm the troops. Yeah. I need to leave the league. How do I leave the league? Leave defensive league. Yes. Okay. 
11th of November, there will be war. <laughs> okay, something really happened, <laughs> funny happened right now. So these guys, first they claim my lands, then they won defensively because they got attacked, and now they're fighting a war, but they sent me a gift of 10 gold. Huh. Makes sense, right? <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense indeed. Oh, weird. Leprion wants a defensive pact again. I wonder why. Declare war. Yeah. Take it. It's mine now. <laughs> I, swear to, I swear to the gods, if I lose 15,000 men against 4k, I'm going to throw my computer out the window. I don't think you should. That's what I thought about the last one. Well. <laughs> that is true. Oh, morale is so low. You're just you're just fighting uh, Laprion, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You there should we be go. fine. Mine now. Wait, why are they retreating to my land? I uh, just follow them and kill them. They're gonna have low morale, so pretty sure you can just do that. They don't have the men to siege it, so just hanging out in my capital. Oh yeah, they're probably just gonna stand there. I I want to claim something, but I don't want to spend all my uh, I want to spend my oratory power on making my people happier over here because the the tribesmen really not something I want or need. Okay. It's, uh, and I have, as I said, one, two, three, four cities over here that have one tribesman in it. I can just imagine, it's like a huge province, there's one guy living in a small cottage somewhere there. <laughs> That's all there is. Whew. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's actually a place. There's nobody in here. It used to belong to one of the guys next to me and there's like, em it's empty now. Hmm. They just left it. Weird. I mean, they're a tribe, they're a federated tribe, whatever that means. Oh, my people just lost their morale from besieging the city. <laughs> uh, uh oh. I know there's a bunch of forts down there are like level two, aren't they? Yes. Are you, uh, you're fighting a level one, so that's that's fine. You do have you do have a level two fort, so that's good. Oh, my morale is so low, I might lose this fight. Come on, kill more than I lose. Oh, I'm inspired by the gods. I thank you for the money. If 10,000 men retreat from 1,000, I will be upset with you guys. I will execute every one of you. I don't think that <laughs> could actually happen. We are at the point where the green dots are almost touching. <laughs> oh, wow. 2,000 men died. Oh, boy. Okay, we hold, we hold the siege. I think I might go to war as well. Oh, it's Once the Olympic you... Games! Send dirties? Ekpolio? Just send someone. Uh, let's send dirties. Alright. I am fabricating a claim. It might be time for war. I don't need to fabricate a claim. I own everything by the grace of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, might be now. It's time for war. They do have an ally, so together they have more troops than I do, which probably would make sense for me to grab some more as well. Huh? What do you think? It's up to you what you do. I think honestly, you should kill every single one of them. My troops or their troops? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I should kill everybody. Just the way it is. Yeah, I do. I do need to grow, or else someone else is gonna come here and try to do something bad to me. I need to get Hiraya out still, but they have the allies of um, Leto and Azania. I don't have the forces to deal with both our, um, cities right now. Yeah, just win your war and then slowly regen. 
You're gonna have more men for your army soon. Also, Thrace has a very large feet moving around my base all the time. Really? Yes. That's interesting. Oh, I think my allies are at war. Ah. That will do it. There's a lot of men suddenly moving in this. Oh, we lost. Yeah. <laughs> the Olympics. Yeah. This is why we should rig that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing if you could do that, actually. Imagine that. So you know why I like horses over in this game? Because they are very smart. And they are very fast. Never trust a horse. Just a horse? Never trust a horse. Okay. Oh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> I will not trust a horse. I will I'll trust you not to trust a horse. Never trust a horse. No. Oh, apparently, <laughs> I can uh, liberate some slaves. You know what? Sure. Don't do that. Don't give your people dreams. No, no. <laughs> it, I just It's just my slaves, not by my people. No, oh, that's okay then. <laughs> they will be more productive, I think. As Freeman right now. I don't know. You gave them hope. <laughs> I gave them hope and then I shat on their dreams. Okay, one more horse and then we are ready. And we are ready there to fight go. these guys. Uh, our enemies deserve no quarter. There you go. You won your war. I mean, we won a war. Well, it's a, it's a war to win. Right? I think I will go to that war now. Let's do it. Jump them. Jump them. Let's go. Be deceptive. Oh, they had no morale. The dudes over here had no morale whatsoever. <laughs> Perfect. Now, when you go siege a fort, right? If you have a general that has at least five military, he's gonna be he's gonna have like one extra uh, fort level for sieging. Right? If he has 10, yes. he has one more extra, so... There you oh, go. Oh, th those sods. My, I was going to invite him to a defensive pact. And, um... They're invading everyone. Oh. Okay. Well, and they're being invaded in return. It's like, oh, you're a defensive pact. You're losing. <laughs> I am losing so much money right now because I made so many horses. It's, uh... It's not good. I'll have you know. Uh, I don't believe it is. Yeah, I'm losing like three gold per turn. Wow, yeah, that's that's gonna be bad. I'm being also attacked by 500 troops are attacking my 8,000. Hmm. That's interesting. Why would it do that? It's a good question, isn't it? Also, you did say uh, we should do 25 minute episodes, right? I did! We were, we like, were close. We were like <laughs> 28 minutes in. <laughs> so, if you, wanna, if you wanna chill, that's what we can yeah. do. Let's do it then. Alright, uh, you wanna pause? Uh, yep. Alright. So, this is it for the first one. We, we've We've done something. At least you've done something, right? Oh, after I've done something? <laughs> yeah. I've not done anything yet. I'm gonna hopefully do something soon. Anyway, hopefully everybody enjoyed this first part of the hopefully long series, if you managed to survive, right? <laughs> if I managed to survive, there's so much more. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, people, go check out Fallen's uh, channel. It's gonna be a link in the description below. And uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.